Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to be talking about traveling internationally uh, it, while wearing adult diapers. So, uh, step one, uh, you know, you have to get dressed, wear some nice comfortable clothes for the flight. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I have incontinence and I make these videos to help others uh, who also have incontinence. Uh, I typically do reviews on adult diapers so that uh, people are informed as to what products to buy. In this video, I am going to give you tips on traveling internationally while you are using adult diapers to manage your incontinence. This video is not meant to be sexual in any way. So, uh, like I said, make sure that you dress comfortably. Uh, typically when I um, am about to get on a plane, uh, I dress in some nice, comfortable sweatpants. Um, a lot of people don't like to wear sweatpants with a bulky adult diaper because uh, they feel like um, it might be a little noticeable because of the noise that an adult diaper can make uh, when you're walking around. The thing about airports and airplanes is that there is a lot of ambient noise, so nobody will be able to hear uh, your diaper rustling. Um, so a couple tips. Uh, after you get to the airport, before you get in line for TSA, it's a very good idea to make sure that you are dry. Make sure you have a fresh diaper on. Even if it's just a little bit wet and you don't really need changed, uh, go ahead and change into a fresh, dry diaper. Uh, whenever you go through TSA, you might have to go through those body scanners, and those scanners will actually pick up a wet diaper, and that can get you flagged, and then you have to go in the back, and uh, they'll have to do an inspection, and that can be a pretty embarrassing thing. So. You know, also, uh, try not to use any baby powder before you go to TSA. Uh, you can bring with you a, a small uh, bottle of baby powder. So I recommend uh, applying that in the bathroom after going through TSA. Uh, that can also get you flagged if you have an excessive amount of ba baby powder inside of your diaper. Um, you know, once you've made it through TSA, you're good to go. Uh, there's nothing else to worry about. Uh, just, you know, get to your plane, uh, find your seat, sit down and relax for the flight. Uh, you won't have to be getting up all the time because you are protected. Um, <clears throat> so, whenever I um, am on a long flight, I typically get dehydrated. And um, I, I purposely don't drink a lot of fluids when I fly just because I don't want to have, uh, you know, any issues with my diaper and having to change my diaper in the small bathroom on the airplane. But I still bring at least two changes in my carry-on bag. So I'll, I will have, you know, my check bag. It will have plenty of diapers as well because... Uh, say you're going overseas to a foreign country, you might not always uh, be able to find adult diapers right away. Um, you know, you just might not know where to where to buy them at if you're not familiar with where you're at. Um, <clears throat> so, have plenty of diapers for your trip and your check bag. Uh, bring more than you think that you need. And... Well, in your, yeah, your check bag. Your carry-on bag, uh, I would suggest bringing at least two changes. Uh, and, you know, try not to drink a whole lot of fluids. But you still want to bring two changes anyway. So, me personally, um, I've never had to change my diaper on a plane. But I would never want to be in a situation where I needed an adult diaper and I didn't have one. So... Here's my thinking. Sometimes an adult diaper will fail, like the, the tips will rip off, the plastic will break, and also you could have uh, 
<clears throat> an incident. You know, you can have a diaper leak. Uh, you can have a unexpected bowel movement if you suffer from fecal incontinence. And, you know, it's, per it's perfectly possible for both of those situations to happen and then you'd be left without a diaper at all. And so even if you don't think you'll need a diaper change, bring at least two changes in your carry-on bag. Um, you know, especially for real long flights, like if you're going overseas. So uh, I travel regularly for my job and I've never had any issues traveling. Uh, you hear a lot of horror stories about people going through TSA, but like I said, if you, if you change right before you go through TSA, you won't have any issue. You only gotta, you know, do that when you check in. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's any situations where you have to go through TSA again on a connecting flight. Um, I know you do sometimes if you're, uh, well, Come to think of it, I think you do actually sometimes. Like say you're entering uh, a connecting flight, but you're also entering the country. Like say uh, your final destination is Houston, coming back to the United States, but uh, your first airport that you hit in the United States is LaGuardia. Uh, you, will, you might have to go through TSA and LaGuardia. But uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> Just be prepared. Know when you're going to go through TSA. Make sure you are changed. Make sure you're sure you are dry. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, guys, for actually the plane ride. So I tell you to bring plenty of diapers with you if you're traveling. So you typically can buy diapers abroad. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you... Uh, one time I went to Europe and I was there for two months for work and I brought plenty of diapers but I did not bring enough uh, for two months and uh, you know I was getting kind of low and I had to buy some diapers and this was actually in the Netherlands uh, right outside of Amsterdam and I was like well it's Europe you know a lot of great diapers come from Europe. I'm sure that, you know, it'll be no problem. Uh, they're hard to find. I went to some, went to some drug stores. I did find some products, but they were like the, uh, the products for like really light incontinence, like the underwear style. And, uh, you know, that just does not, does not work for me. I've got very heavy incontinence. And so, what I actually ended up doing was I, I, look, I just looked up online where I could buy good quality adult diapers in Amsterdam. And uh, what's funny about it is I actually ended up buying adult diapers at a adult toy store. So, you know, like the place where you buy uh, vibrators and sex toys, that type of stuff. I actually bought diapers there. They had ABDL adult diapers. Which, if you're familiar with my videos, you know that um, I'm a big fan of ABDL diapers. They're just I've always super good quality, very high capacity. If you're somebody who has really heavy incontinence, you know, I highly recommend checking out ABDL adult diapers because they are perfect for very heavy incontinence. Uh, they all are very, very high quality products. Um, so, you know, be prepared to go into a store like that if you need to. They actually have them there. Um, I've heard that there are other countries in Europe that's much easier to buy good quality adult diapers, but I, I, you know, I was there for two months. I had most of my supply with me, but I, I was just getting kind of low and I just had to buy a few to hold me off, basically. Um, if I was there for much longer, I would have ordered some online and had it delivered. Uh, that's another option. So if you're staying overseas for an extended period of time, uh, you can uh, order online. You could also, you know, ship a package to you before you leave. That way, you know, you don't have to bring so many in your check bag if you don't have room. So, uh, 
that is pretty much it uh, for my tips on wearing diapers and traveling abroad. Um, the only other thing I'd like to mention is, uh, so, um, me personally, my incontinence, um, is mostly urinary incontinence. I do have, uh, problems with unexpected bowel movements sometimes, but, uh, I can actually get away with, uh, with that pretty easily without having messy diapers most of the time because I am very familiar with my body's schedule. It, I have a very good diet and, you know, my, my body is a machine and it works like clockwork and, you know, it happens pretty much the same time every day. But whenever you travel abroad and you are, you know, several time zones away from where you normally live, it can throw your body off. You know, you get jet lag. And that jet lag, you know, for me, it never fails. Um, every time I travel overseas, I do end up experiencing uh, a few messy diapers when I first get there. Like for maybe like the first week or so, um, I'll have like two or three messy diapers before my body can get back in its normal rhythm. Uh, so. Just FYI, in case you're wondering how I avoid um, messy diapers, you know, in a little bit more detail, is, so, it always happens in the morning, right? And typically it happens after I drink my first cup of coffee. And so, what I'll do typically is I'll uh, wake up, I'll make some coffee, and, um, you know, I take a shower in the morning too. So, you know, sorry if this is a little too much information, but uh, you know, this is what this is what we have to deal with. And if you're watching this video, you quite possibly deal with the same thing. And you know, sometimes you got to talk about this kind of stuff. But uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll get up in the morning. I'll make a cup of coffee. I'll drink my cup of coffee. Uh, and then I'll actually drink another cup of coffee, but I'll make my cup of coffee and then I'll go into the restroom. I'll go sit on the toilet and I'll drink my coffee, that second cup of coffee, while I'm sitting on the toilet. And by the time I'm done with my cup of coffee, my business is handled and, you know, then it's time to hop in the shower. So that is how um, I avoid those, you know, messy diapers, uh, I would say more than nine times out of 10, I can avoid it. So just, you know, a tip if, uh, you know, you have a, a good diet and that gives you a nice predictable uh, schedule with your body and your bodily functions, that might be an option for you for a, a good way to avoid that, which, you know, saves a lot of time in the morning. I gotta tell you, it saves a ton of time in the morning because I have not, you know, I haven't always been lucky. If, you know, it doesn't work out that way, uh, you know, you're, it's gonna take um, a few more minutes to get ready for work. And I have been late for work because of it. But, um, you know, luckily I've been having luck with this method, but once, um, once I travel overseas, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm probably gonna have a couple accidents before I get into that groove, into that rhythm. So, if it's your first time uh, traveling overseas with that type of medical issue, just be aware that um, it might it might trigger that uh, it triggers it for me. So, anyway, uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I thought I'd switch it up from doing my normal reviews and um, make sure to give me a like, a comment, subscribe. Uh, if you found this video helpful, maybe uh, you have a friend or family member who is incontinent and they're about to travel overseas, uh, you know, pass this video along to them. Maybe this will help them out. And uh, <clears throat> I hope to uh, make another review soon. I've got a few more diapers that I haven't reviewed yet, so look forward to that. Um, also, you know, give me some ideas on some content of what you 
might want me to talk about. Um, I think another good topic that I might talk about in the future is uh, wearing adult diapers when uh, you work in an office, like some tips on that. But, you know, traveling abroad is something that I do a lot. I've, I've got a lot of experience traveling abroad wearing adult diapers, and it is no problem, guys. So don't feel like you cannot travel abroad because of your incontinence, because it is not a reason. Uh, they make adult diapers, they work fantastic, and um, there are horror stories on the internet of, you know, people going through TSA and having very embarrassing moments. But don't let that discourage you. Just be careful. Uh, you know, don't drink too many fluids. Change before you go through TSA. Not a problem, guys. All right. Thanks, guys.